So, um, in foot jumps, the guy that beat me 7 5, 7 3. So, as you can see in the corner, it says B E A 5 3 at 75 minutes. This is him, Beast FC. So, you know, the Bible talk about the beast and revelation. So, the system is called the beast. And who control the system, these gay faggots, white people. But anyway, moving on, that's not the point. Um, um, it was my it was my 20th game Perry is again it was my 20 so the last one was 75 5 3 76 two different games yeah so um it was 5 3 uh, my 10th game for tonight which is my 20th game overall I only got nine wins this week and to rub saw into rub finger into saw into the wound they put me up against him he scored bare deflections yeah and then it, yeah this is what happened look it went blue and he just quit he just went blue and he said your match result is currently underway you must be returned to the foot <coughs> foot home menu so it's not a real player it's a fucking butt so again i proved it that this is going on and i will kill this guy get regardless i've i've done all the legal things i've done need to do i've sent numerous letters to the ministry of defense Numerous letter to Greater Manchester Police, numerous um, contact with the, the cybercrime unit over the years, numerous contact with the British Parliament, numerous contact with the Jamaican Embassy. I've sent letters to all these people to say something is clearly going on and it kept, whatever is going on is obvious that it's the British government. It's not just to do with FIFA, it's to do with the NHS, the police, and um, what happened to me at college me getting kicked out of numerous um, flats and houses my money being basically ciphered out of my account um, one pound at a time shopkeepers overcharging me um, light water phone bill all that overcharging me and obviously it's a lot to think for one person to sit there and think about all that is too much so obviously I'm not going to pay attention to all of it all the time you get me so obviously it's going to get to a, a certain level where some of your shit is going to get fucked up you're gonna get fucked over at some point yeah obviously because i've got to choose between staying sane and letting these white people get one over on me and they're not smarter than me in the end i'll get all that stuff back anyway you get me but i have to kill this guy first it's as simple as that you get me i'm not hiding it the whole british public know the whole europe know the whole western government know and maybe even fucking china knows and afghanistan who the fuck knows but I will kill this guy regardless of whatever comes out of it. And they're not going to tell me anything. Um, I'm going to pressure them to make the case a public case. To make the records public. To turn the whole thing into a public circus and a fiasco. So everyone can sit there and listen. So BBC and ITV and RT and all these fucking channels can come and listen to what happened behind closed doors. <coughs> and they don't control the narrative. Yes, BBC is run by white people. ITV, all of that, yeah, yeah, but there's ways to press the court into releasing information. I obviously know these gay white men that works for the Ministry of Defence, um, the police, and the fucking justice system, the prosecutors, they're going to push for it not to be public and the information to be remain classified and stuff like that because they don't want to be found that they're actively killing black people or... I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. I'm not going to look at it any other way. It's not my duty to look at it any other way. It's not up to me to figure out what is going on. I've done my part by sending off these letters, putting numerous evidence and tagging all these companies online. And they all see the stuff. They can't tell me they don't see. I've asked pretty much all of them that I can think about. So they all see it. They all ignore it. No reply. Um. Yeah. The plan, they obviously had a plan. Um, I can only speculate on what that plan was. And that plan was to set me up and lock me up and make me look like a tyrant and an abuser. You get me the whole stuff. When secretly they were giving me, they were injecting me and putting diseases, um, sexual transmitting diseases in my fucking food. Sounds mad, sounds strange, sounds crazy, sounds all of that. But guess what? If you go out and tell, some, tell the whole world, that this individual is crazy, he's got mental issues, he can't take care of himself. What's going to stop you from doing that? Who will believe that person? 
You get me? I don't need to justify that. I don't need the British government to justify it. I don't need the public to take my side. I don't care if they think I'm crazy. I'm just saying it as it is. I think that's what they did. And until they come out and say they did not do that, yeah, and I've had this whole thing wrong, yeah, then fine. But until they do, this is all the accusations and allegations I'm going to levy against them. Very serious accusations and allegations that the British government tried to perform eugenics. <coughs> the men that are behind it, the man that mainly does the organising on the court, he's a Jew. Jewish people um, scream and complain about anti-Semitism, um, which is the hatred or dislike of Jews. Yeah. Also, the, you had the Hitler situation with the Jews. Okay, Hitler was performing eugenics on them. What eugenics is, is using chemicals and experimenting on people for various stuff, various different reasons. Yeah. So they're now doing that to me. So I don't understand how they said that this was happening to them and then you are doing it to someone, you get me? It's like, can you imagine um, Can you imagine a man that was raped turn around raping somebody else? Like, it wouldn't make more sense for them to do that. So either they lied about the Holocaust or... Yeah, you get the picture. And I, but like I said, I'll make these serious allegations against them. And the fact that I'm still walking around free and the fact that the British government has not levied any defamation case against me is not like they're short of money. It's not like they're short of um, state lawyers. And you get me? It's not like they're short of courtrooms. It's not like they're short of anything. You get me? I obviously know what I'm doing and saying. It might sound mad to you. It might sound mad to everyone else. But what you have to pay attention to is why aren't they doing anything about it? Even though I'm crazy, <coughs> even though I'm this and that, I'll tell you why. Because the only thing they could do at this point is to lock me up in hospital. And obviously, there's reasons why. Even if they did it, yeah, I'd be out in a second. You get me? Even if they tried to. Because I know exactly why they would try to long it out and then make the tribunal at the end of the month. Um, the end of the 27 days and I'll just predict that that's what they're going to do before they do it so if they do it then I'd know then I'd beat them based on pre pre evidence if they don't do it I'll be out there in a second based on what they did to me the last time they locked me up yeah they have locked me up numerous times in hospitals and um, they still haven't produced any evidence to say I'm mentally crazy they haven't produced any evidence at all they haven't given me any paperwork on the subject I've got no paperwork to prove this. What I had, what I had to do, and if I didn't do it, I would have been screwed. You get me? They would have, if I never secretly video the team of NHS workers, which consisted of one Jewish policeman, one ginger policeman, one blonde girl, one Asian woman, um, two black women, um, one Jewish doctor, I believe one Indian doctor. You get the picture, it's a mixture of people and you get me. So yes it's racism. And like I said in my first video, back in the day when slavery took place, if you take Django for a typical example, what you're noticing when Django he'd go to the plantation or the estates where the, the, the slave masters used to be held <coughs> And you'd find black people inside the house working for them, saying, yes, master, blah, 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 blah. So they had black people working inside of the house that they looked at as better Negroes or niggers than the ones outside. What I essentially have in this metaphorical situation is an outside nigger. You get me? The niggers that pick the cotton, that disobey the master, and the black people that are working within the system are those who listen to their masters because you know if you don't find black people in positions of power there's a reason in the in the plantation in slavery time black people weren't in positions of power either they were told what to do by their masters and they themselves black people would turn around and whip other black people to please their master britain is no different you have these you have what in, in jamaica in jamaica we call it ghettos over here they call it estates and if you go back in history and find out what an estate really was an estate is where slave masters used to live 
You get me? That's where it used to live. You people wanted to fuck around and you wanted to use certain information. I'll teach you a lesson about information and how information is more detrimental to you people than it would ever be to me. Because I'm just a normal man living the life I choose to live. Whether or not I'm committing crimes or I just get sent down. Your crimes are on a different hand. Is not only embarrassing it will cost you millions of dollars along the way. So even if you try to def use a defamation character and claim your falls um, history of mental illness, <clears throat> I know more history than you. I can prove your history. You can't prove mine. I finished the video there. As I say, this fucking thing called Beast FC. Beast is in the Bible. Yeah. Beasts, beasts is in the Thor, the Torah, the Quran, all these holy scriptures. Yeah, he talks about revelation, the end of, basically a metaphor for the end of time. Yeah, um, it's it's more complicated than getting into it, but the beast is meant is the system, the system that comes around near enough when um, things are gonna change drastically. People are gonna get more self-absorbed into themselves, love themselves. You know that sort of thing it's meant to be around that time but the beast represents a system a system of people a system of um governments bodies world orders you get me diplomats rich people it's a system the people who basically control the world and you get me we all know in the western hemisphere white people control the western hemisphere in the east and uh, you have a the arabs and chinese you get me so we all know what what so the B system, that's why it's implementing and that's why it's for. So you know they talk about the mark of the beast and all that, whatever, yeah. So I played this guy twice. I played him at six. You get me? At at, at game six, he beat me seven three. I played him now again. Yeah. And I thought, why am I playing the same guy twice in this in ten games, you get me? He beat me, so he should be one ahead of me. And if he beat me at seven three who the fuck did he lose to after that, you get me? Because if you're beating me at 7-3 and then losing to somebody after that, I only got 9 wins. I'm not a 9 wins player. I'm way better than that. I'm probably one of the best FIFA players in the world. But you get the story. If I if I only got 9 wins, he played me at game 6, yeah, which means I was basically 15. Yeah, I don't know. Game 6, there are 16 games with 4 left. And only won, but well, only won six games at the time. Yeah, six games at the time, out of sixteen games played, and I played him at that helo, and then I matched him again. You get me? And he, he like something's obviously wrong. But anyway, he weren't a real player. He was a bot, and this is what they've been using to, basically, to hold me down and frustrate me. Obviously, the bot is very difficult to be. I need the the best team in the game. I obviously don't have the money to buy the best team in the game. I would need the best team in the game to for it to have a chance against it. So they're not only stopping me from progressing, which means I can go to tournaments, go all over Europe. Now they're having the e-championship in Turkey. You get me stuff like that. I could do all them stuff, you get me? And they're stopping me. These white people are cruel and evil individuals. And if you're going to do that to someone, you obviously have no intention of stopping until they're either in prison or dead. You get me? You wouldn't have done it in the first place if you had any intentions of stopping it. So I get it. If I catch this guy, we should know he's a coward. He will never allow me to see him because he wants to do the abusing and the hurting and potentially the killing and the eliminating and would never want to leave himself in a situation where he's being eliminated. You get me? You know people, you know. You know, in Jamaica, we'd say it's thieves don't like thieves. You get me? You know what I mean? Like, Abusers don't really like abusers as much. You get me? It's that sort of thing. So killers don't like killers. You get me? A killer do, would not want to be killed. And if you come from certain countries, we've all seen where known men who go around doing certain things, when it's their time to go, they cry and they beg and they scream and they ask for mercy. You know what I mean? So he's no different from that. He's he's worse than he's a bitch. You get me? Like we know anybody that's from outside of Europe. Knows killers, you get me. Actual fucking killers, you get me in it. Like who do what they do. They you hear about them, you see them, you get me. And when the police go for them, they cry and they beg for mercy. You get me. And them man are doing actual things. So you can imagine somebody that's just harassing you, like from behind closed doors, and 
you know what I mean, coming into your house, breaking your shit, moving your shit, you know, playing these psychological mind games, he obviously would not want to be caught, you get me, because he know it won't end well, and obviously, he's little back in what he's having, saying that he's white and he's Jewish, and he has the right to do this because this is Great Britain and in the name of Great Britain, whatever, you get me, fuck Britain and fuck Jamaica, you get me, I don't care about either of you, you get me, you he wants to say I'm racist, feel free. I don't need to explain myself or justify. Nobody's justifying shit to me, so I'll end it on that one.